What is going on YouTube fam? We are back and we are at it again. We are going for some walleye. Uh, we're going to Detroit River today um, out of E-Course Landing and it is absolutely packed here. There are a ton of boats on the river already. Um, hopefully we can find some clean water. I'm not gonna take too much time up right now, so we're gonna try and get launched here real soon and uh, hopefully get some, some tanks to get in the boat. Um, so stay tuned and uh, I'll show you what happens. All right, boys and girls, out in Detroit. Same situation, a little heavier jig. Using uh, antifreeze head with a purple and green fleck with chartreuse tail worm and a minner. See what we can do. You're using full ounce? Yeah, I got a three quarter. I might end up switching. Yeah, it is. Floater sitting out there, it's too bad. Switch to a one ounce here. A little too much current. Change it to blue ice with a chartreuse tail. Anti freeze head. Throw a minnow on. Up through the lip. Out the nostril. Yeah. Throw a stinger on. There we go. See how that goes. Oh, <laughs> missed one. Tell you what, it's busy out here. There's, oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. He thumped it too. Yeah. Go, buddy. Right. Oh, they're gills. Yeah, on? these are these will cut the crap out of you. Oh. These are super yeah. pointy they got and teeth don't teeth. go oh, in their yeah. mouth. So, okay. I'm a, well, show I'm him. Those Beauty fish. Yeah, we'll bump him real quick just to make sure. Right here. Yeah. Fifteen. Yep. So we got. 16 first keeper of the day all right you want to grab him grab him right there hold him i'll get the scissors for you i'm just going to leave the bump out if that's all right here show me your fish buddy all right what you got jamie got the first one all right so these guys oh here you got it and that's right there like i always say guys cut the gills Right in there, bam, throw them in, one down. Got another one out here, nice one. There you go. That's no minnow again. No minnow again, huh? All right, guys, fish number two. Let's bump them too. It seems a little shorter. 16. Probably. 16 and a half. Start throwing them back there so we don't get that all bloody. All right, so. well, dude. They are here. What colors you guys get those on? Pimp Daddy. Daddy, when you got the black worm with chartreuse tail. Got another one. All right, that might be changing up. All right, slow. There you go. Stinger hook fish right there, buddy. Got it? Uh, no. There we go. Alrighty. Alright. Is that big enough you think? Uh you can bump it if you want. It's right there. 
don't let him flip. <laughs> Grab him right there. Tip of the nose, make sure the mouth is closed and right on the board, he's well over. He's 15 and a half, 16. Let me see your fish, buddy. Second, second one for Jamie. Killing it. I'm switching, switching back to black with chartreuse. All right, hiding stuff for me, Jamie. There we go. We're switching to black and chartreuse tail. Get a better color of it this way. And you guys aren't using minnows? Huh? No minnow? I'm gonna try it with a minnow and just see. All right, there she be. Well, these fish are turning on. It's, it's getting mid, mid morning. Yeah. Until that full moon. Yeah. Here, right, I got one. Got one. All righty. Scoot over just a little if you can. Yep. Okay. Hey man. Good job. Alright. He's he's all a 16. Oh he's good? Probably. Oh yeah. Alright. Alright. This dude over here. I'm telling you that's the hottest side of my boat all yeah, if you got that and you know, if you're, oh, sorry, <laughs> just flip it in the boat. <laughs> Boy, I feel. There you go. I would bump him and hold him up for me. Let me see him. All right. Jamie's hammering him. Are you jigging yours at all? Honey, just like we are. You doing the same thing? Yep, yep. I'm just, we're just trying to figure out the cadence. He's doing the same school. No one's told me how to jig, so I just learned it on my own. Working. Alrighty. Change it up again. A little different color head. Same tail. No minnow. Stinger hook. No minnow. No minnow's dude me, dude me wrong today. Got one? In a net? I got it right here. Oh, hand me that rubble and I'll walk it back. That's a good one. Mr. Greg coming in clutch. That's a beauty, man. Heck yeah. Cool. <laughs> Rockfish. Happens. Rock. Yeah. Yeah, I Try and pull it that way a little. Yep. There you go. Stinger fish. Good job, bud. Yeah. There's one finally. How's this thing work? You just throw it at it? Something like that, yeah. Just hit hit the top of the, the bait so it knocks off. Oh it's a carp. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Look at that. Stinger right in the corner of the mouth. Alrighty. Beauty. Let's see what he is. Ooh. No, it doesn't make the cut. Too small. <laughs> <laughs> just shy of 17. <laughs> oh, he's, he's just about 17. That'd be the worst thing. Matt catches one finally in his <laughs> I'm just short. <laughs> Come on, fish. All right, cut the gill. But I did notice 
picking my cadence up, watching what he was doing. There's one. Ooh, it's a good fish too. Thank you, sir. What's that? Pretty soon, beauty, another keeper. Slipping the gills. All right, guys, we are calling it. We ended up going nine for however many we didn't get. Uh, it was a pretty slow day, it was a tough bite. Um, decent amount of fish in the system, they're just not biting too heavy right now. Um, one of those days, a lot of guys out here, uh, a lot of traffic out here, so it made it a little, little more wavier and choppier than we thought. Um, but either way, we had a good time. We got nine in the box that are decent. Um, Appreciate you guys watching, I really do. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, you guys have a good one. All right, what's going on, guys? Um, we are back and I'm in the mood for a snack. Um, it's actually a couple days past when we went out to Detroit for some walleye, but I'm hungry and uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a little snack up. Um, first off, did you guys know that walleye have wings? I didn't until a couple of years ago. A buddy of mine showed me this, and there's more on a walleye than you think. Um, a lot of guys only take the cheeks and the two main fillets on each on each fish, and they have the top and the bottom loin. But there's one more cut that is absolutely phenomenal. It's delicious. I love it. It's a great appetizer, and it's called walleye wings. And essentially, what it is, it's the pelvic fin on the underside of like the collar of the walleye and it's a piece that a ton of fishermen throw out they don't know how to utilize it um, i might have a video of me processing the fish and i'm going to try and put that in here but if i don't for some reason if i can't find it um, throw it in the comments let me know if you guys want to know um, or see a video on how i process a walleye how i get the cheeks out how i get the fillets out zipper the fillets and how i get the wings off um, the wings are one of the best part and they shouldn't be thrown away. They should be utilized, every piece of the fish that you can, and they are absolutely delicious. I know my wife loves them, I love them, my kids do. So let me get to showing you what we're actually doing, and they're gonna be absolutely delicious. All right guys, walleye wings. First off, before I get into how we're preparing this, throw in the comments if you've ever heard of walleye wings, or if you've eaten them, or how you prepare them. Let me know, because I'm kind of curious to see how many people actually know about them. But other than that, this is walleye wing right here. It's essentially, it sits like this on the bottom of the fish. It's the pelvic fins that are underneath the fish. The pectoral fins are on the side. These are the pelvic ones. And I mean, just look at how much meat is on that. It's a ton of meat. Look at that. That people usually just throw away. So I was, I did it all the time. I, did, I never knew about it until a couple years ago. So now that I know about it, we're gonna make a delicious appetizer. And we're just gonna probably uh, deep fry these real quick. All I have is a cup of cornmeal, yellow cornmeal to a quarter cup of flour. And then into that, I like to season my breading. I got a decent amount of Everglades Original and then some Everglades Heat. I love Everglades, so that's what's going in. And then we're gonna try a new thing for me. I've never tried it, a lot of guys do on YouTube. Frank's Red Hot, we're gonna try it finally. We're gonna mix this up in a bag, we're gonna throw the fillets in, then we're gonna bread them. We're gonna deep fry them and see how it goes. So, all I've seen people do is take a Ziploc bag, throw your fillets, or in this case, walleye wings, into the bag. Throw some Frank's Red Hot on it. Just enough to cover them. Now I do recommend drying your fish first. Um, that way any of the wet, uh, not brines, but uh, stuff you're gonna use to coat the fish stick to it. So 
So I pre-dried these after I pulled them out of the freezer and thawed them. Hopefully it's good. You know, I hear every, see everybody on YouTube trying it. We'll see. All right, so we got that. We're gonna throw them in our breading. up and leave air in it that's key if you leave air in the bag it's got room to mix up toss it around get them nice and coated Ooh, just like that I know a lot of people say let this dry first, but oh, look at that! Perfectly coated. It smells really good um, with that with that breading and the, the Frank's Red Hot. So I'm not gonna let these dry too long. I don't have a lot of time, so we're gonna get these straight into the grease, and I'll see you out there. All right, let's grab our fish. I don't know about you guys, but my wife absolutely hates when I fry fish or anything in the house, really. So we're gonna do this outside. We got the uh, grease heating up out here. And sorry if it's a little noisy, neighbors, spring chores and such and cars going by. But uh, we're gonna get this uh, fish in the grease and see how she turns out. All right, so we got our grease heated up to about 350. I'm gonna drop these little tidbits in. That's what we want. Last one. All right, so those are going. We're gonna give those probably around five minutes, maybe a little bit longer to cook. Um, it shouldn't take too long. They're not very big, uh, but they're gonna be awesome and they're gonna be delicious. So stay tuned when I pull them out of the grease, we'll see how they taste. All right, guys, there they are. They're done, they're crispy, and they're gonna be delicious. I can smell. The Frank's Red Hot still smells really good on here, um, but that's it. Look at that golden crispy. It's definitely going to be crunchy. Um, you got to be careful with these. There are some bones or cartilage that is connected to the fins, so you can't just bite into it and expect nothing to be there. Um, basically, just hold it like a chicken wing. I'll break one of the fins off, and I'll hold it like that, and there's going to be one little piece of cartilage there and one little there, and I'm just going to bite into it without burning my face off, hopefully. Wow. Wow, that Frank's, uh, Frank's uh, hot sauce is good on there. Gives it a nice tangy flavor. Um, it's not hot at all. Um, you could probably even go with extra hot and you'd be fine. But that breading with the uh, Everglades in it, that's money, that's on point. With Frank's Red Hot, I will definitely do this again. Um, but look at that flaky meat. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. It's super flaky in there, big flakes for walleye, you know? Wow. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Ooh, that was hot though. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you watching, I do. Um, let me know how you guys uh, prepare your walleye if you've ever harvested the wings out of them or if this is brand new and you want to try it um, let me know how they turn out they're delicious it's an extra piece of walleye that you get from every fish so it's just utilizing everything you can and that's what I'm all about so I'm going to fix a plate up these of these for my wife and me we're going to have a little snack and then we got some errands to do so like I said Thank you for watching. It keeps me doing what I'm doing. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, you guys have a good one. Sit. Can't leave Rosie out. Good girl. That's a good girl.